the role that gut bacteria may play in MS is something that uh, uh, my lab has been particularly interested in uh, for uh, more than 12 years now. And the reason in part was because of our, our work in genetics, uh, we recognized that, uh, um, again, the, the were there must be environmental factors that complement uh, this genetic susceptibility. And we thought that uh, the gut microbiota, so that the community, this ecosystem of uh, bacteria that live in our guts are a good proxy for what happens in the environment surrounding us. So if we uh, change our diet, if we move from one place to another, if we live near uh, oil refinery versus if we live in the countryside, all those uh, uh, changes in environments are likely going to be reflected in changes in our gut microbiota because our bacteria uh, respond uh, almost immediately to what's happening in the environment. So we thought that it will be a good window into the environment and we can study the composition of gut bacteria in a good uh, reproducible uh, and quantitative manner. So uh, back in 2015, um, we launched the International MS Microbiome Study, the IMSMS. And the goal of the IMSMS was to, um, again, in a consortium-like fashion, gather uh, a large number of participants that we could uh, establish a reference for the rest of the field to um, establish whether there's a correlation first between bacterial uh, taxa and MS, and second, try to understand what the function of those uh, um, um, correlations uh, might be. And so as of today, uh, the IMSMS uh, has recruited more than a thousand patients and controls and a thousand controls uh, around the world. And um, we recently published uh, a paper in the journal Cell showing the analysis of the first 500 uh, of them. And we're showing, um, and this is already is the, the largest study uh, ever performed in MS and uh, the gut microbiome. We're, we're showing us uh, very statistically significant associations with uh, dozens of bacteria. Some of them are overrepresented among MS patients. Some of them are underrepresented. And furthermore, we've also established associations with uh, severity of disease. So people who are more disabled have a different microbiome than people who are less disabled. We've also established associations with uh, how the disease modifying therapies that patients are taking modify their microbiomes. And uh, we even were able to uh, propose one of the um, potential mechanisms of actions of interferon beta, which is one of the disease modifying therapies through its action on the gut microbiome. Uh, so this is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, we know that this is a descriptive uh, study, but descriptive studies are the, the cornerstone of functional studies that should come later. And now the consortium is uh, committed to continue uh, uh, growing its, its, uh, its base uh, population, but also starting performing functional studies that can uh, shed light on how are these bacteria modifying our risk for MS.